I am Wendell Mays, and I am a resident at uh, Brookdale, Westlake Hills, in Austin. Dr. Mays, you've been a resident of Brookdale Westlake Hills for over two years. And from the day you arrived, you jumped right in, immediately joining the resident council as both secretary and treasurer, and then organizing a monthly veterans luncheon. And now you've written a book. What motivated you to write the book, Brookdale Westlake Hills Veterans, A Book of Honor? Uh, well, I'll tell you about that, but first I want to correct something you said. You said I jumped right in. I didn't jump, I was pushed. I was pushed right into those positions. But I do organize the uh, programs at the monthly uh, veterans luncheon, which as you know, we have one each month. And some time ago, I started trying to put together programs for that luncheon. Uh, and I knew Wally uh, Hall, uh, he and I eat breakfast together each morning. Uh, and I knew that he had a very interesting story. So I thought it would be a good story at the Veterans Luncheon. Uh, I asked him if he would tell it, and he, he begged off, as I should have done sometimes. But he begged off and said he wasn't a public speaker. So I told him, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I will interview you, and that way you can just answer my questions. And he agreed to do that. So to get ready for that uh, program, when I was going to interview Wally, uh, I, I talked to him and interviewed him uh, and made notes, and then wrote up a story about his, uh, what happened to him when he was in the service. And then that's what I did when he gave the program. It worked out very well. And so then when uh, uh, the next month, I asked uh, uh, Fran Ross if she would do it. And she said yes. She would if I would interview her. So again, I did that, and I, I interviewed Fred first and wrote out her story so that I would be sure that I got the details right. And it, her program worked out real well, too. So I had done two the stories, written out two stories of veterans. Well, we have about 30, 35 uh, veterans here, and I got to thinking about it. First of all, Wally and Fran's stories are quite different. And uh, so I got to thinking about what the other veteran stories might be like. And so I decided just to sit down and, and interview them one at a time and jot down what they had to say and let them check it and see if it's all right, if it's correct. And if it is, put it uh, in, a, in a book. And so I ended up with this book uh, that uh, uh, I call the uh, uh, Brookdale Westlake Hill Veterans a Book of Honor, and I got that name from the uh, wall that's behind us, the Wall of Honor. And uh, I, I think it worked out all right. You helped me with it, of course, as you know, by scheduling uh, the uh, uh, scheduling the interviews with the veterans, and it has about 35 or 40 stories about different veterans. You mentioned the Wall of Honor behind us. It's dedicated to the veterans that reside at this community. As a veteran yourself, can you explain its significance to you? Well, it, is, it has a significance, of course, uh, in that all of the people whose pictures are up there did, in fact, serve uh, in one of the branches of the armed forces, uh, most of us, uh, during some uh, wartime. However, I would have to say this, that for the most part, uh, we were not a bunch of heroes. 
We were just a bunch of kids. I was 19, 18, 19, 20 years old when I was in the service. And I was just a kid doing what they told me to do. Fortunately, I did not suffer any damage. I got out and uh, was able to utilize the GI Bill to help me go through college after I got out. So it's significant in that it is uh, an, uh, an recognition of the fact that the people that, whose pictures are up there did, in fact, serve their country, our country, uh, during times uh, when, in some cases, it was quite dangerous to do so. Out of all the interviews that you did for the book, is there one or two that really moved you? Well, you know, I, I hate to, to single it out, but uh, Wally Hall, uh, his story moved me a lot because he was in Korea and a, a martyr shell came into the trench where he was and he and two other soldiers. The martyr shell killed the other two and blew him clear out of the, out of the, out of the trench. And he was then in four different medical facilities uh, run by the army. He was a soldier, of course. Uh, and uh, he had suffered all sorts of things. They, th they thought they were going to have to amputate his hand, but uh, a, a hand specialist at the hospital in San Francisco was able to save it. But uh, he suffered uh, in, in the hospital a lot. He had to have a skin grad, a graft, and uh, they attached his arm to his stomach for a while and put him in a body cast. So reading about and hearing him tell about those things was quite, quite moving and quite touching. There's another one too that, that went to the hospital. That's uh, Bucky uh, Harris. He, he was a, a pilot of an airplane. It was landing after a bombing mission. He was landing at his home base in, in England and a German uh, a fighter plane shot his plane down. Uh, they took him to the morgue. They thought he was dead, but he wasn't. Instead, they got him to the hospital and he spent 14 months in the hospital before he was able to get out. And to think about someone having to stay in the hospital for almost a year as Wally did, or uh, 14 months as Bucky did, that really makes you think a lot about what some of these people who were veterans suffered as, uh, a, a, as a result of what they were doing during these war times. In a sentence or two, how would you describe life at Brookdale Westlake Hills? Well, it's, it's a great place to be. Uh, the associates, the staff members here, make me feel like somebody special at every time I meet one of them. Uh, they all know my name. That's the first thing that's uh, notable because I don't know how in the world they can remember all these names, but they do. But mostly, it's a very pleasant surrounding, one in which I feel comfortable and one in which uh, the people who are taking care of me make me feel like somebody special.